Okay, when we say diversity, what comes to your mind? All types of diversity, economic diversity, racial diversity, cultural diversity, um, geographic diversity, diversity, people, um, when you think of diversity, people limit it to racial diversity, but diversity is, it's a wide spectrum, it can be related to virtually think all types of diversity. I couldn't say it better. You know, diversity is about our unique character characters of what makes us human beings. So it could be like, like what's your name? Brendan. 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 Like Brendan said, it's not only race or color or ethnicity or background or religion or education. It has also to do with your parental status, your veteran status. Did you go to the military? Are you white collar, blue collar? Where do you live? Your socioeconomic factors. Are you, uh, do you have a disability or not? Your sexual orientation? your age, it has everything that has to do with you as human being. And diversity is not affirmative action. Diversity is not numbers and is not checking boxes on an application. Diversity is not only the protected classes that, that you will learn later on when you go into work. Diversity is what makes us unique as human beings. So diversity is, uh, is again, is in all the characteristics and experience that make us unique. And if you want to remember the basics of diversity, remember the words regards. And regards stands for race, ethnicity, gender, age, religion, disability or disabilities, sexual orientation, and many more characters. So remember the word regards and that will, at least will start opening the door for you and not to think because you will meet a lot of people that will just think that diversity is about color or about ethnicity or where you come from, or your accent, or your religion, or your background. So diversity is actually a good thing. And by the way, it's, uh, diversity is not only about differences. Diversity has to do with similarities as well. So don't let people really convince you that being diverse is being different. No, being diverse is being either similar or different. So my, the, the, the expression that I really believe in is make your differences make a difference or let your differences make a difference. And why I showed the USA commercial, actually there are two commercials that I put together, because I really believe that it really shouldn't matter where you come from. It really shouldn't matter what your color is. It really shouldn't matter what's your background. And I personally believe in that, and I have a passion for that. And that's why, this is one of the reasons why I like to do these workshops about diversity, because it's all about us being human beings. And it's all about respect at the end, no matter how different or similar we are. Diversity is not political correctness, meaning it's not about being politically correct. And these days people go to the end of the spectrum just to be politically correct, when all what they need is just respect. Just res simple as respect. You don't have to use all the terms and expressions that people think they are politically correct by. You can ask. If you're not sure, you can ask. You can ask questions in a polite and respectful way. And people will be happy to guide you especially from different, like I have people that will come to me and ask me about different things. I also, because I do diversity, I ask people like, uh, for example, the Diwali, uh, the Diwali festival, which is the festival of light, is in a couple of days or three days, I think. And in the beginning, I knew it's a festival of lights, but I really didn't know what it meant. So I looked to my Indian friends, you know, and, and I asked them, oh, I love the Diwali friends and I attended festivals, what is it all about? And they were very happy to explain the whole spectrum of things, you know? What is it, why it happened, the history about it. So now at least I know what it is. You know, so it's, it's, it's better really to ask questions. Like for example, on Yom Kippur, I saw a lot of people on Facebook and Twitter saying, happy Yom Kippur. You don't say happy Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is a day of atonement. So it's, it's actually a sad day, uh, somehow. I mean, it's not a happy day. So you say, there is expression where you say, we hope that you are, you, you're having uh, uh, a Yom Kippur where your sins are, you know, are forgiven or whatever, but it's not happy uh, Yom Kippur. It's the same as going to any Hispanic person and tell them, happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican uh, holiday. It's not Hispanic. So it's, it's, it's important to ask. You know, at least to know so uh, what everybody belongs to or, or believe to. It's not black and white. It's not blame, guilt, or fault. It's not based on merit because you are that person, so you merit to be diverse. And it's not about tolerance. 
what does tolerance mean? Accept. Would you prefer tolerant or accept? What would you prefer as a word? Accept. Why? Tolerance has a negative connotation. Absolutely. I, I hate the word tolerance. Tolerate from, from one is not necessarily you accept them. You're just putting up with them for a certain time. I tolerate my brother-in-law <laughs> because I know that at the end of the day he's going to go home. But accept him is a different story. So that's why I always like to use the word accept, not tolerance. And I, on purpose, I put the word tolerance so we can have that discussion. Like, for example, I, I don't like the word melting pot. But that's personal. I mean, if you use it, it's not bad. But I personally don't like it because melting pot means that everybody, it just comes together and are like one big gluey, gooey thing that doesn't have any shape or color anymore. Where it's different than, I usually say diversity is like a beautiful salad with all kinds of vegetables, all colors and the dressing that you want to put. So everything will enhance the flavors of others. And that's what I, I believe in. So.